Who is Archmage Khadgar? Why is he so involved in the hunting of Gul'dan in two expansions now? And why, after looking at him, am I now attracted to older men? All good questions. I can answer two of those. The older men part, well, I'm sure there's a subreddit for that. Go nuts. Now, Khadgar has his nose involved in many of the problems demons have caused since day one. This is due to a very key position he held, apprentice of the Guardian of Tears Fall, Medivh. Just before the events of the First War, the Kirin Tor sent Khadgar as a young man to study with Medivh, just basically they were curious what the mage was up to. Though Medivh had little time to directly instruct his apprentice, leaving the boy to simply clean up the library led to many studies of his own and becoming a talented mage in his own right. However, suspicious things were abound in Medivh's Tower of Karazhan. With the help of a half-orc emissary named Garona, he unraveled the plot of several murders and strange occurrences with orcs which led to the opening of the Dark Portal. That was done by Medivh. Though he was too late to stop the portal from opening any further, he ran to Stormwind for help and they returned with Anduin Lothar and a group of soldiers to stop Medivh's plan. They succeeded in stopping and killing Medivh, but Khadgar paid a heavy cost. He had his life drained from him and the 20-year-old man now had the wrinkled face and white beard of an old man. The Kirin Tor gave Khadgar their blessing and he became their representative in the fight against the Horde during the Second War. He bore witness and was involved in many of the major events during this time. His major role was at its climax when he destroyed the Dark Portal and cut off the flood of orcs from Draenor. He was also integral in the construction of Netherguard Keep and the forces stationed there to watch for any sign that the Horde may return. This ended up being a very wise decision as the portal opened again only after a year. It was at this time that Khadgar and the Sons of Lothar hatched a dangerous plan. They stole the Skull of Gul'dan from Deathwing himself, as well as the Book of Medivh from a dying orc and traveled to Draenor, closing the portal for what they believed was a final time from the other side. This time, however, it was to prevent Azeroth from being torn apart as Ner'zhul had opened numerous portals to other worlds which tore Draenor to pieces, leaving it in the state we see in WoW today known as Outland. Khadgar and the Sons of Lothar were considered dead and would not be seen for 18 years. Unbeknownst to all of Azeroth, Khadgar lived. He made contact with a race of beings known as the Naru and joined them in the Draenei city of Shatrath, learning much from them about their quest to defeat the Burning Legion, whom he discovered had manipulated the orcish race into attacking Azeroth. When the adventurers of Azeroth journeyed through the newly opened portal once more, they found him and assisted the Naru's plan to fight the Burning Legion. It was somewhere after the portal opening that Khadgar met Madan and somehow got Atiesh, Medivh's staff, from him. We will never speak of Madan again. After the events of Burning Crusade, Khadgar laid low, not being seen in the public eye for quite a few years. It was during this time he became a member of the Council of Six, the ruling council on Dalaran. We would not see Khadgar in the spotlight again until the Dark Portal opened up once more, this time to an alternate Draenor. Seeing this familiar threat and sporting a fresh shave, Khadgar helped the adventurers of Azeroth journey into the portal and once again destroy it from the other side. This time without relics or anything, just a really big cannon. However, in the process, a new Gul'dan was released from his capture. This would become his obsession during the campaign. The mage established himself a tower and a foothold in Draenor and began his work. Though seen in various places assisting with the overall fight against the Iron Horde, Khadgar keeps his focus on Gul'dan and the Legion. Over the course of the campaign, he has the adventurers assist him in acquiring many items and artifacts of power, which not only powers up a legendary ring for the players, but brings him closer and closer to ferreting out Gul'dan and his schemes. Unfortunately, he is too late, as Gul'dan takes over Hellfire Citadel and corrupts the Iron Horde. Him and the adventurers assault the Citadel just in time to see Gul'dan summon Archimond, one of the leaders of the Burning Legion, to Draenor. They successfully defeat him, but in the meantime, Gul'dan is taken by the Legion for their own schemes. Which brings us to present day Khadgar. He is once again playing a major role in our fight against the Legion, seated as the leader of the Council of Six in Dalaran, the staging ground for the battle on the Broken Shore. It is he who brought us here, searching for the Pillars of Creation in an attempt to shut down the portal in the Tomb of Sargeras. His relentless pursuit of stopping the Legion and their plans to annihilate all life led him to vouching for the Demon Hunters to join the Alliance and Horde as well. It seems he will gladly pull all the stops to help save Azeroth. With the history lesson over, Khadgar has poised himself as a very interesting character in lore right now. He's not some high and mighty mage who is solving all of our problems for us. He's helping us, empowering us, and sometimes just joking around with us. He's a very likable character, but he's had a long journey to get there. I'd say that his time in Outland changed him quite a bit. Now, the Khadgar we see as an apprentice to Medivh is a young, curious lad simply looking for training and experience. The schemes he finds himself in lead him to be magically aged to an old man. His youth is stolen from him. He spent his prime years, his 20s and 30s, in the body of an old man fighting against the Orcish Horde. For all his magical aptitude, he can't fix that his body and mind don't match. 
Of course, who could have time to handle the emotional backlash of this while running around the world trying to figure out how to close a dark portal? However, 18 years in Outland is quite a long time to reflect. Though he spent that time learning with the Naru and assisting them, Outland wasn't a place of constant war until the portal opened once more. In that time, Cadgar not only caught up with his age, but wizened. The man who returns from that journey seems to have reclaimed his youth and spirit, and he's gotten a slick haircut as well. He jokes, he laughs, he makes mistakes and makes things up as he goes along. He's not a gag character, but he has life to him. I'd like to think that somewhere along the line he found that the aging curse didn't have to take his life away from him. Like everyone else on Azeroth, he could choose his own path. And I for one am glad to have Khadgar on this journey with us, and I think he'll be a fantastic ally against the Legion. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and take care, everybody.